What's up everybody, it's Shuflaka again with another YouTube Madden video. Today I'm going to be showing you who I think are the best options for you to use your 87 to 88 overall power pass once you reach level 50. If you haven't checked out my last video, it's how to level up fast now that EA Play Pro, those challenges are gone. There's a new challenge out there you guys can go check out. It's very easy to level up to 50, you just got to grind. I suggest watching YouTube videos while doing it. Go check out that video if you want to learn how to get there fast. All right, let's head into some of the cards. I'll be right back once we get there. Here is the one I use my pass on, my personal 86 to 8, I mean 87 to 80 overall pass on. I use it on my boy Tyree Kill. Everybody knows how Tyree Kill plays in the game. He's broken, 91 speed once you power him up. You can put some chems on him, get him even faster. But I think this is the most obvious choice of the day. Everyone's like, oh, duh, he's of course he's going to put Tyree Kill in there. But this is the first one. Let's head into the second one. Here's my second player. I have Aaron Donald here. I know most people in Madden run either 3-4 or out of dime or nickel. And Aaron Donald, get put in some pass rush abilities on him. Everyone knows how Aaron Donald plays. Look at his stats. Everything's so balanced. 70 sports, 74 speed isn't too bad. It's doable. But sitting at 90 strength, he has very balanced uh, power and finesse move, both at an 87 or 86. So it's like everything's balanced on him. He's just a perfect card. Everyone knows how Aaron Donald plays. This is just a, if you're not going for Tyreek Hill or already have him, Aaron Donald's one of the players you might look for. So for the third card here, this is a sleeper I have in my opinion. Dre Bly has been one of the best cards I've had on my team. I don't even have him powered up. And he will undercut every out route. I have no abilities on him either. He undercuts out routes. He undercuts literally in routes, slants. He kills them all. Comeback routes. I've seen him take pick sixes off of comeback routes. He is a very good man-to-man -man corner. Sitting at an 87 man coverage, 88 speed. You power him up, you can get him up to a 90 with some uh, boosts. But man, he is something else. He is 5'10", not the best, obviously. But I think Dre Bly is a sleeper pick. Not people, Not many people are thinking to use him. It depends on how much his power-up is, too, because I know those uh, theme diamond power-ups can go for a little bit. But if you can get it for a good price, I think Dre Bly is a great card for UDs on. The other one I have here is 87 overall Drew Bennett. I personally don't have him, but I've seen videos. I've heard from people that I trust that he is a great card to use it on. He does get slot omatic. You can hot route him out of the slot if you put the right ability on him. He is just a broken card right now. He is on a little bit of the slower side, but he is 6'5", obviously. You could power him up to a 90 overall with all the theme diamonds. He could probably get up to a... Pro, he's probably like an 86 to 87 overall speed. Not the best, but obviously, right now, if you put him in the slot and he could do all of that, you could hot route him with all the man covers that's going on right now. This might be a real killer in the slot this year. It looks like, it looks like I've seen dominant pros using him every game. Every single game I see him in, like, every game I watch on Twitch that either Problem is running or K-Mac, all of them are using Drew Bennett. Drew Bennett is killing people this year. Another player I think is very good in a 3-4 rushing off the edge. If you don't want Khalil Mack or Von Miller, you wanted somebody different this year, Elvis Dumerville is a great pick for you. He is uh, only a 79 speed, so he's tied with uh, Khalil Mack. He's one speed below Von Miller, but... Everything else is pretty good. He has really high excel, so you know once he breaks off, he has that really quick start to get that sack. Really nice. Eighty. He has a very balanced uh, pass uh, rushing move, finesse move at eighty eight, and power move at eighty four. Pretty high play rate. Pretty high tackle. I think this is a very good card to use it on. I wouldn't say he's one of the top three, but if it comes down to it, and you want Elvis Zumerville for either a Broncos team, you're a Broncos fan, or you just have everybody else and you want to use it on Elvis Zumerville, this is a, one of the other picks that you could do. Though Bob Sanders is not the best player in the game, this is just one that I don't think you should use it on, but I'm throwing him in here because he is a personal favorite of mine. He's one of my favorite players of all time. I love Bob Sanders. He isn't the best. He does get enforcer. He, like, his speed isn't too bad, especially when you power him up to a 90. He's not really that bad of a player, honestly. So he can get up to, like, an 89 uh, power, 89 speed, pretty much probably 90, honestly. But the problem is he is... 
five eight. That's the only problem. He is so fun to use. If you've wa never watched any Bob Sanders highlights, I suggest you watch those. He is just once you see him play, you'll think the same way I do. This player, he's just like a a smaller Troy Palomalu, basically, who didn't play as long due to injuries. But I wouldn't suggest using this on him. But this is just one I thought I should throw throw in him being one of my favorite players. So this is one that I need to try out myself. I probably will be buying him myself because I don't want to use my power pass, take it off Tyreek Hill. But Adrian Wilson, I he does get enforcer. He is a better option than Bob Sanders at 100%. Let's see. Let's take a look at his stats. He is a little tiny bit slower, not that much, but he is 6'3". That's where he's killing Bob Sanders at is the height category. He does have 87 power, so they're the same in power. The zone coverage, 87, I mean 84, it's doable. It's very doable. Man coverage is obviously not the best in a man meta. But I'm telling you guys, you put him at some linebacker or even he, he's great at safety himself. He does get enforcer. It is a huge deal this early in the game. I think this is a great card to use it on. If I didn't have Tyree Kill, I'd 100% be using it on Adrian Wilson to get him up to a 90 overall, to get him up to like an 88, 89 speed. Woo, Adrian Wilson, I'm telling you guys, this is a must-get if you're not using it on Tyree Kill, Aaron Donald, or any of the other cards I've mentioned before. So this is another one that I have never personally used, but this is one that beats me in game all the time. I always get sacked by Robert Porcher. I think he's a great player to use. 76 speed, very good off the edge for an early card. 76 speed is something you can get a lot of sacks with. 82 block shed. He's very balanced again like the other cards. I think this is a really good pass rusher. You, he can get a speedster on him. You can get all. Oh, you can get ripper on him. He's a really good card. I want to see him at a 90. I don't know if he'll be playing on my team because I do have Charles Johnson at a 90 already. But this is a card that I suggest most people either try out or if you're not using your power pass, even maybe attempt it on him for a Lions team, anything like that. So those were the cards I think were the best placeable cards in the 87 88 overall power pass i hope you guys like them I hope you guys agree if you have any other players that you think i should have included in this list put them down in the comments below if you like the video make sure to drop a like subscribe you know the thing that's the first time i've ever said that but thank you guys for stopping and this has been true flag i hope you guys enjoyed this video peace out